In this video, we're looking at how we can connect Power Query to only the latest file in the folder. That means we can keep dropping in files into the folder, but Power Query only connects to the latest file. So let's head over into Excel and see how we can do it. Here we've got three files in a folder and we want to connect to that folder using Power Query. So to do that, we'll go to Data, Get Data from File. Now, even though we want the latest file, we need to use from folder. So I'll select that. We then need to navigate to the location where our files are saved. All my files are saved in my report files folder. And then I'll click open. Power Query is now connecting to our folder. You can see here that we have those three files. And I'm going to click transform data. In the preview window, we have four fields that we can use to determine which is the latest file that we want to connect to. First of all, we have the date created. Now don't be fooled, this isn't the date that the original file was created, but the date that the file was created in that file location. So if we copy a file and move it to another folder, the date in that folder will be the date that we copied that file. The next column is date modified. Now don't be fooled with this one either. It isn't necessarily the last date modified. It's actually the date that the file was last saved. So if somebody opens a file and saves it without making any changes, that will be the date modified. Last of all, we have date accessed, and that's the date and time that somebody last accessed the file. Now because of these quirks around date created and date modified, it means it's possible to have a file that was modified before it was created. Therefore, it depends on your circumstance as to whether these fields are useful. We can also use the file name. So here in this example, I've used a file name that contains a date. Therefore, I can easily determine what my latest file is based on my file name. And that's what I'm going to use in this circumstance. But you can use any of these other fields if they work for you. So I'm going to click on my name column then from the home ribbon, I can sort in descending order. That puts the file we want at the top of this table. Now we could click into the binary. That will connect to that file. However, you'll see that in the formula bar, it's hard coded that file path, which won't work if the next time we refresh, our file name has a different name. So instead, we're going to write a small piece of code ourselves. I'll click on the FX icon. That gives me my last step name of sorted rows. And all we're going to do is use sorted rows, square bracket content, because that's the name of my content column. And I want the first row from that. So in curly brackets, I'll enter zero. Then when we click away, it now drills in to that first file. Let's expand that and see how we can use this data. Let's just use those two columns. So we will remove the other columns, use the first row as headers. Perfect, now let's load that into Excel. So we'll go to home and then close and load. Right, that's now loaded that file as a table in Excel. Let's go and add a new file into our folder. I'm going to come back and I've got a new file here on the 30th of November, 2023. I'm going to cut that file and paste it into my report files. So let's see if it now picks up that new file. I'll go to data, then click refresh all. Perfect, that data changed. It's now connected to the latest file in that folder. And that's it. That's how we can connect to the latest file in a folder. Now, the easiest way is if we can rely on that date created. That means that we need to restrict access to that folder. We need to make sure that other people don't copy and paste files into that folder that might end up resulting in the wrong file being recognized as being the latest file. If that's a possibility, then use the file name. We can always control that file name to make sure it is the correct file. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.